All right, you guys, welcome back to this week's video. This week we went and checked out G's farm. We had a blast ghost hunting, but let's check it out. Hey, I'm Griffin. I have lived on this farm since I was four, moved out when I was 18, like 14 years living here. I've seen and heard some spooky things. Well, I've had, we've had stuff like our barn burnt down when I was like seven and we didn't have any cows on the property for a few months afterwards. And there's no cow farms near us. Like our neighbor's a chicken farmer, another neighbor's just a crop farmer, and the other neighbor doesn't have a farm. Um, and I remember for a while after the barn burnt down, we were finally allowed to sleep in the house again. We could hear cows mooing at night. Okay. Um, I remember one time me and my brother, my brother wanted to move his room downstairs and he was a little freaked out. So he had me sleep in the room next to his room. And he woke me up at like 3 a.m. And he was like, Griffin, I th he actually thought somebody was outside. Like he thought an actual person was outside. So I woke up, I was like, no, that's just stupid. Cause I was like, it's probably just your head. And I walked into his room and I looked at the window and I saw a face, but it was weird because when I went to look at it, so I looked out cause I was half asleep. So I looked out the window like this, like I was this far from the window. And I thought what I saw was like my own reflection of my face in the mirror. And then like, I realized I, as I was sitting there, that's not what my face looks like. Cause that was a very feminine face. Um, and I kind of, it scared me to the point where I didn't want to move because I was like, I feel like if I move, it's going to know that I'm looking at it. I wanted it to think that like I wasn't looking at it, that I was looking through it. Mm. We've had doors open and closed. We've heard footsteps. Uh, there was a lady who was looking after our dogs for us once and she called us one time and said that she couldn't stay at her house anymore while she was looking after dogs because she was walking upstairs to go to bed. And when she was walking up the stairs, she looked back up the stairs and she saw a guy wearing like a hat, like a suit and a top hat. And uh, she said she couldn't see his face and it scared her so much that she fell down the stairs. And when she looked back up the stairs after falling, he wasn't there. And the thing is we live with a dog that barks at anyone regardless of who drives up the driveway. And we, we hear these things, see these things, the dog does not bark. So we don't think it's harmful. We think it's like family members because this farm's been in my family for a very, very long time. The Myers family has lived here since the Germans first came over to Canada. Okay. Wow. Wow. But I know at least four generations of Myers family has lived on this land, so. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ah! Dope. So after we finished the interview, it was getting dark outside, so we went inside and started asking some questions in the house to see what was there. Um, is anyone actually here? Is anyone from the Myers family here? Did you live here before? How do you feel about the people who live here right now? How do you feel about the garage burning down? How do you feel about portions of the house being torn up for renovations? How long have you been here? How long have you been here? What's your name? If there's anything that you want to say or do or prove to show us that you are here, uh, feel free to do it now.
if you are here, that's the water. <laughs> so after looking at some of the, the footage in the edit and hearing some of the noises and seeing what looks like orbs, I mean, it could be dust, but I've shown multiple people and they've all thought the same thing, that it moves a little bit uh, weird if it was dust, but... Then again, when was the last time I was looking at dust in a frame? So I don't know for sure what that is. Um, it's a bit eerie the way it's moving, but like I said, again, it could be dust. Now, uh, after we went and took the noodles off the, the stove from boiling over, we decided that we should go downstairs into the basement and ask a couple questions. Uh, nothing really happened down there. Uh, we did kind of creep ourselves out a bit in the basement just because it's so old down there it's a dirt floor but uh we came up we ended up filming a a little sketch but i think i'm gonna leave it out of this video i want it to be a bit more serious i'm kind of testing myself seeing how i'm doing in the documentary side of things uh hopefully you guys are enjoying this type of content i'm 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 just enjoying making it so um yeah i hope you guys are enjoying and i'll see you in the next video